Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to discuss another important and frequently asked question and that is about member and collection routing in rails. So first of all, we need to know that what is routing. Routing is a process of mapping the browser request to the controller action and then return response back to the users. So whenever uh, you refresh a page or whenever you submit a form or whenever you click a button then you will see some response or you will see some pages which are rendered to your screen or on your browser then it means there is a routing that take place there and it is supported by the rails router rails router recognizes the urls and dispatches them to a controller action or to a rec application it can also generate path and url avoiding the need of hard coded string in your views for example look at this so here you can see that what we have used here for show link that admin user path user if it is not provided by rails router then how you have to do this you will do this like uh, just like this let me increase the font size and you need to do this like uh, admin slash student slash one or some id whatever it is so it would be like this so these are known as hard coded url strings and rails router provide you facility to avoid these and rules uh, use the url generated by the router so let me undo this okay now let's come to the member and collection route a member route will require an id because it acts on a member on a resource member and a collection route does not be require the id because it acts on a collection of object for example if you have a user resource in your rails application then displaying the user editing the user deleting the user and updating the user can be considered as member route whereas listing the users all users listing on a browser will be considered as collection method and searching the users can be considered as collection method why because for listing all the users you do not require id of any user because you are trying to list all the users for searching users you also do not require the id because you are uh, making a search on a specific query params and whichever the users are uh, matching that query uh, are returned to your browser so there you are also playing with the collection of users so there you don't need to pass any id so listing users and searching users can be considered as collection method and updating deleting editing and displaying users can be considered as member method and you can see on my screen that here i am showing you a rough example controller where you can see that uh, what actions can be considered as member out or member action inside your resource controller so def show edit update and destroy so whenever you uh, try to show a user on a browser then you require an id for that user or for that resource maybe it is user article product or any resource name you want to choose and you can also see that def edit edit also require a user id because you have to update uh, you have to open edit form for a specific user then you will load uh, the already existing data for that user so edit is also a member action update is also a member action destroy is also a member action and index new and create can be considered as collection action why because when you uh, instantiating an object or you are at new action or you are just opening the form for creating a new user or a new resource then you don't require any id because uh, at that time that resource is not in your database so do, you do not need the id and when you are submitting the data for creating a new resource then you also don't require the id and for index section you are also not require the id why because you are just listing all the users in the database so now let's come to the point that how we can use member and collection routes in the rails so here is my routing file and i'm show you that uh, show you the uh, syntax of writing the 
member and collection routes. Here I am considering that uh, we have a user resource in our Rails application. So you, here is how you can define your uh, uh, routing resources users. So this is common. This is very common. Like it will create your uh, resource routes for index. Uh, the actions I display here: show, edit, update, destroy, index, new, and create. So let's try with that. So when you come to the console and you will run Rails routes. Sorry. users so when you run this command you will see the default seven routes for that users for listing the data users for creating a new resource new user for opening the form for creating a new user edit user for opening edit form for an existing user then user get for displaying user user show user update and user destroy so these are the resources which are provided by the rails when you uh, declare route like this okay but now we need to define member action into that member do so this is the block that you need to define to create your member routes and inside that block you can write your member resources like just like this get sorry preview <laughs> profile this method can be considered as member action why because we are just previewing the profile of a single user we cannot preview profiles for multiple users at the same time we can only view the profile of uh, users one by one so that's why i added this member out here preview profile now collection do and you can make a request like get search users so this is the way of uh, defining your member routes and collection route now let's uh, go to the terminal and we will see how uh, this preview profile requires an id and this search user id does not require an id so let's come to the console and clear the console for now and run the same command rails routes users let me increase the font size here you can see preview profile user and you can also see that it uh, map this uh, request to the users controller where id params is required so when you define path for this uh, preview profile user how you will do that you need to provide a path like this like this preview profile path and user okay so when you pass this it will act, uh, act like uh, params id okay now and you can also see that uh, search search users users path so it does not require any id why because we are performing search on a collection of users and search also result returns the collection of uh, whatever the users which are uh, matching the query data okay so here we do not require the id and so this is you can understand how we can define member in collection routes and there is another alternative syntax for writing this because uh, i will prefer this uh, way of writing member in collection routes when we can have or when we have multiple member or collection routes for a resource then this way is preferable if you have only single resource for uh, or if you have only single member or collection actions for a resource then you have to do it like this remove this block we don't need that you can also remove the collection block as well
you can use on option so you just need to mention that on member on collection now when i search for the routes like it make, make it clear first and now search for the users routes then you can see the same routes preview profile user path user then id as a parameter and preview profile and search users path users search users so both ways are same but it depends upon uh, how many member or collection routes you are required for a single resource or for any resource if you are uh, having multiple member actions or multiple collection actions for a resource then uh, follow the member do and collection do blocks else this way is preferable if you are clear that you only require a single member or a single collection method now this option is required if you want to pass your id as if you want to pass your member id a member params as id okay for example here you can see that you are we are passing colon id so you need uh, when you, this request come to your controller you will access uh, user dot find params id but if you remove this option now check your routes you can see a clear difference here this is the difference colon user id okay so whenever you uh, remove this on option on member or on collection actually we can't remove on collection and i will come to this point later so whenever you remove this on on action you can see that your id prompts become user underscore id and your path is also changed preview profile user path to user preview profile path okay and now let's come to the collection what happen if you remove this on collection if you remove this on collection then by default a, each one of your custom route will become a member route now let's see this clear it now when you open this you can see user preview profile path and users user search path it also require a user id and it also requires a user id as parameters so now both preview profile and search user becomes the member action so if you are not using on collection or you are not mentioning any route as a collection route then it will be considered as a member action and if you want to use id as a parameter then you have to mention it on member else you will get resource name underscore id as a parameter and here i am again mentioning on collection so this is all about uh, member and collection routing and uh, i hope you have some uh, better idea about the member and collection routing and you can explore it in more on the rails guide uh, routing explanations and routing guide on the rails guide tutorial and uh, this is the very important question which uh, can be asked to you during the job interview or client may ask you and even when you are developing a rails application there might be possible that you have to deal with these uh, member and collection routes because uh, uh, there are a lot of possibilities if your application grow over the time you have to write your custom actions for example most of the times what we do that we only write resources users but sorry users but this is not the case always you have to implement custom actions in many of your controllers or in all of your controllers you might have to write a few or more uh, custom actions and then you have to uh, define routes for those custom actions 
and you have to deal with the member id a member resource and collection sorry member routes and collection routes in that case so this topic is very important and uh, i hope you have much better practices with that if not then you have to be better with that so till then thanks for watching this and let's meet in the next video with another interesting question on the routing tata bye bye